morning, everybody. It is Heidi and Jamie from Hen and Chick Studio in Conrad, Iowa, and we are super glad that you are with us Absolutely. today. We it's, love having people join us, Heidi. We do. Whether it's in the store or uh, from our family online and community yes. online, we love to have people join us. And you just said the word that popped into my head, we're a community. Oh, that's, yeah. And that, to me, is exactly what we love to think of this, um, whether we're online or whether we're in the store or in our creative community, our online group, kind of think we're a community. And I love that about... Uh, quilters and uh, I'm going to say women in general yeah. um, not that we don't have uh, some men but I, it's so uh, such a high number of women in our, right. our group that it's just wonderful um, to be able to have the support mm -hmm. and understanding of and of ideas others and inspiration oh, yeah. and all that that goes with it yeah and and it I mean let me just tell you if you are not motivated by Minerva then in our creative community, then I'm just telling you. If you, you haven't joined our creative community, yeah. you should join our creative community just to see what she Minerva finished, gets done. She finished Dayflower. Already. Already. It's awesome. Good job, Minerva. Yes, we love you. And I don't know. I don't. It's Minerva is done. often watching. Yeah. And I, we haven't been looking down here to see. Um, but if Minerva is watching, good job, Minerva. You have done great today. It gives us something to aspire to, Heidi. Maybe I want to be Minerva someday <laughs> when I grow up. I want to be Minerva. Oh, we love it. We love it. Um, and welcome to all of you. I see, uh, again, our regulars know. Tell us where you are watching from so if this is uh, one of the first times you've been watching welcome we're glad you are here tell us where you're watching from Jan and gave you a new name what did Jan give me an uh oh it's a good name you're the mayor of the community I'm the mayor oh uh, uh, I take that as a compliment because of course I always uh, you know Fred Hoiberg know. is the mayor that's immediately yeah, what I think of is mayor. that I nobody else unless you're if you know that reference which I know there's a couple on here that will with Fred Hoiberg yes yes maybe he'll start joining our community oh maybe he, he will the mayor now. yes <laughs> yes but I love it I will be the mayor I love it that is awesome well uh we have a lot of fun things um to share this morning and I this morning as I was like huh what am I going to tell everybody that we're doing this morning I put the headline in one two three four you will not be bored and that is exactly <laughs> what happens Hopefully in head and chick studio yeah. you will not be bored we don't think you'll be bored I don't think so. even even if you're not able at this moment to make everything that we're telling and you're working on a different project or if you're, you're not working on anything at all but you just want to watch and be inspired or that's right find something different I know yeah. as, as I say I've been I've been working on some dad jokes oh gosh Yes, so no I was pirate jokes. I think. Well, there's always pirate jokes too, but um, I this one was appropriate for me. Let's just I see okay. if I can say it. See. So it when I was watching uh, like a TikTok, <laughs> yeah. right, a reel, and it was doctors, and they were like standing in a conference room with their staff. I bet they can hardly wait to hear this. I yes, guess. and <laughs> and it was funny because of course the doctors are trying to be really straight faced, and the staff is just rolling because of course you know. And so one of the doctors says, "I went to a hearing specialist." a few weeks ago to check on my hearing, um, but I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> yep, okay. You couldn't wait for that one, could ya? Okay, but it reminded me of something else, but maybe I'll tell it at the end. Because okay, it, it, it Save, kind of, all right, so you have to stay yeah. tuned until the very no, end. No, I'll have to remember and it. Then, so and then we have to remember, remember to come yeah. back to Jamie's yeah. joke, okay. whatever, whatever okay. it is. Okay, yeah. well, we have a lot of things to, to, to do go over today, and Absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with um, I just want to reiterate how important it was that we celebrated your birthday oh, last yes. week and that uh, we, in doing that... Well, more um, importantly is that we're... To get the bag. Um, um, like when it's your birthday, we get a whole month to celebrate. That's and right. And so now and we for my birthday, doing... we have a whole month to celebrate. That's correct. Because it's about giving back to other, paying it forward. That's what, kind of the way we correct. want to say it. And if you don't know what, if you don't know what we normally do in July, every this will be the fifth year in July mm -hmm. um, that we have sold store samples that we no longer are using. Hundred percent of the proceeds will go yes. to a cause. And, and this one, uh, every year special, but this one will be very Yep, and we'll, we'll again, wait so to tell you more about sure that we, as we get closer. We're but teasing you. Yes, we're going to tease you a little bit. But it is, um, it's a great way. The quilts mm -hmm. um, here are beautiful. They need a good home. And how better to think that then you are going to um, help, help somebody else. else. Yep. And we've, uh, we've donated to 
to groups before. We've donated to individuals, um, whoever mm -hmm. we feel like the the need is, um, and it's you know okay. usually has some kind of a personal yeah. connection yep. to us. And so yes, now March will now be March. will be the birthday month. Yes. And thank you to all of you who have already donated. I believe we have at least enough funds to do at least a half a dozen. Our goal is. Um, is to do 20. Mm -hmm. uh, I also know that we've had some in-kind kinds of donations. Yeah. And mm -hmm. thank you, Heather. We're looking forward to the package oh, yeah. of mm -hmm. uh, Bitty Chicks that she... We'll have to show it when you do Yeah, we will have to get this to it. So here's how it works. So it's as simple as um, uh, we are donating everything that somebody will need to be able to have a birthday celebration. And these boxes will go mm -hmm. to our local food pantry. And you will have cake, uh, Cake and frosting. Can you hold it and I'll I put can, it on I'll there? I'll be Vanna. Okay, you be Vanna. Napkins, plates, uh, cups. I'm going to lay it down so it doesn't fall. I know there's more. Uh, uh, candles. We'll add plastic silverware, uh, maybe some balloons, a few mm -hmm. things. We talked about that if somebody wanted to make a bitty chick, and I'll, uh, this is actually an Easy Strike table runner we had from several yep, years ago. Yep. And when I was cleaning, you I found, found it. it. And I thought it says happy birthday. That's going to go in one of the boxes. Oh, yeah. um, and so, nice. um, and the Heather who was making, she had had some birthday fabric. And she made some bitty chicks. Yes. Yep. And so my receipt from the grocery store was $19.50 for this. Mm -hmm. And so basically $20 will get us a, uh, the absolute minimum that we need. Mm -hmm. And our goal is to do 20 of them. So you gonna you can you get it back in there? So let me let me click on these. So if you would like to participate and donate, you can donate five dollars, ten dollars, or twenty dollars, or any combination thereof. And again, if you have a specific product, um, I do believe Stacy has some aluminum pans yep. for us kind of thing. If you're so, local, you want to come and talk to us. Yes, come, yes, yes. And, and if you want to send us something, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, we'll take the funds and you'll, you'll keep hearing. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out. Yes, we'll go shopping and show you. If you'd like to um, uh, make something to go in the box, we, of course, were suggesting the Bitty Chick mm -hmm. pattern, the um, receiving blanket, or the pillowcase. Now, remember, all of those free patterns say $1.00 because the system does not like free um, and but if you go to our website we like it will be free. a free it will be a free download yeah. and you will be able to do yeah. that so thank you to um, everybody there and help us spread the word this is something that absolutely everybody yeah. can participate in whether you're a quilter or not in fact I believe your sister um, gave yeah, money mm -hmm. and Jaycee. yep said happy birthday yeah. um, to Jamie and what a nice yeah. what a nice thing to be able to yes. do so yeah okay so and my sister Ironically, is not a quilter. No, she's not. Yeah, not yes. yet anyway. Yes, but um, we also have made a web page, um, henandchickstudio.com slash birthday box, uh, where we've put a little video about it, and um, we'll put some more information about it as we update stuff. But if you, uh, if you need to go there and read about it, you can. Absolutely. Just yep. help, help us help others, and that's what it's all about. Yep. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. That is yep. exactly okay, what it's Okay, well, right. Heidi, you got work to do. I know. So let's okay. get busy with What are we going to do first? Um, well, let's start with, how about our newest, our latest store sample? Oh, yes. Okay, so i got to get okay. my stack of papers yep. here. So I, Heidi's going to get herself organized. I doesn't say. You'd think it's I organized, but then we switch sides. Yeah, so yeah. So it's all right. I'm going to find, I'm going to step off here and find mine. Which one do I do? The birthday presents? You on bet. The far you, side so that here. is Jaybird. Yep, Jaybird, um, which is a collection that we featured before, but we did not have the store sample made, and that just came back. And I'm going to grab this. And I see that okay. the image uh, is not coming up, probably because. Oh, we haven't shot that one. Oh, we haven't oh, taken a picture of that. So, anyway, you get to see the real thing yeah. here, um, and it is a beautiful kit. So, this kit, and. This kit contains 20 fat quarters. Again, we want to keep stressing that just because we use it one way doesn't mean that you can't use it a different way. And one of the things we really talked about when this fabric came in, um, this is by uh, Corey Turner Goodhart, yep. um, who we had an interview with. Uh, she was kind enough to come online with us. But love the word fabric in this. And this collection was inspired by her daughter. 
Um, you can read more about that. We have it in the description on our website as well. And I am scrolling through all of the individual okay. fabrics that mm -hmm. we have um, in the Jaybird collection Good. while you are talking so that they can see some of those um, images a little bit more up close. Yeah, and so in the kit, again, the kit does make it into with the birthday presents, which is you see it hanging on the wall back there. Now, the cool thing about this, Heidi, I gotta say, when I was thinking about it is you could make the presents any way you wanted. The girls laid this one out. Correct. But you could make it any way you wanted. It doesn't have to be those combos. You Correct. get to work with these fat quarters in any combination that you want. That's exactly the right. The pattern is included. Uh, birthday presents by Atkinson Designs, which is a fat quarter friendly pattern and in fact just takes the fat quarters. So again, you could use it in a different way. You could use some of them. You could use the kit um, for other things, but it's fat quarters and then some yardage for binding is what's in this. So easily transferable to something else if you have a different idea because different ideas are okay. Oh, you have our permission that's to right. use it, make it differently. Absolutely. And I do not happen to have the slideshow pattern um, separately. So if that is something you mm -hmm. want, you just have to go to our website, which is a good reminder right now true, true. is that everything that you see during the show, this is not like an exclusive um, limited <laughs> quantity we only show during the show. Yeah, no, it's available. <laughs> everything yeah. that you're seeing is available on our website. This is just a tool for us mm -hmm. to get the to stuff to share with yeah. you. And so always trying to figure out. So if you're on our website and you're watching this mm -hmm. morning, then you can um, scroll through the products. You can go back it very easily in the future, watch a rerun and see the products. On Facebook, it's a little harder for us to go back and forth. Um, so that's why sometimes I show the products more than once so that you have yeah, that have ability. The to see it. Yes. Yep. yes. Yeah. And I do believe there was a question from Karen. Oh, Karen, the yeah. deadline, I'm guessing what you're talking about, the deadline for the birthday boxes is the end of the month. Our goal okay. is to go through March um, and then we will take all of the donations, everything that we have and take care of it at the end of the mar yep. month. So Good that question. is- question, thank you for asking. Absolutely, and keep telling us where you're from. Somebody's in Florida. I'm guessing it's warmer in Florida than it is here today. I'm guessing because you don't want to know that. it's snowing here, it's <laughs> yeah. snowing. So, yes. all right, so- And okay. more snow tomorrow. We are in Iowa, but the good news is the snow lasts it, less and less, less time and less. because we're getting Ab closer to spring. Absolutely. So anyway, that was that's birthday presents. Great pattern. Um, Heidi, how would you rate that pattern as far as level, skill level? Oh, I would say that a beginner could do it. Um, uh, certainly, I think, here's here's my, if, if you get a pattern with good instructions, which Atkinson Designs are, mm -hmm. um, you are not going to have trouble right um, maybe it would take a little bit longer it's not it's not like quite as fast maybe as um, Texas two-step yeah because there's a few more seams and a little bit more cutting a little you know a little more sewing and cutting but it's still a very doable very very doable project and I know that it's one of the questions that we often get is like what how do patterns rate so yeah we'll try to tell you from our experience but certainly if you've made it before yeah share your experience yeah and, and I'm not gonna name the pattern but there was actually a pattern the other day <laughs> that I have written off that, as yeah. we will not kit it we will not work with it um, here because when I I was so confused by the the, yeah, how the they, errors yeah. or the differences of how they wrote it that I'm like if I can't understand it, then I'm not. Right. I'm not sending it on to and, my customer. And that's happened more than once. So and it has. Do, do take that into note when we are putting together kits. We do look at the directions we and we do see how much yardage is used, and we usually give extra. So usually you'll see um, in that case, Terry Atkinson usually has a little extra written in her patterns. That pattern does call for 20 fat quarters. There's 20 fat quarters in there, but there's still going to be enough extra if you make a mistake that you can correct it. In any of our other kits, typically we do look at that yardage that is necessary and make sure that you have enough if you do make a yes. little mistake. So yes, we, we, we try really hard to make sure we do that. Ab absolutely. Well, I think we should move to that, to Fresh Cut next. Okay for a, a completely, different, completely um, different. different. So last week we unboxed mm -hmm. um, the new Fresh Cut collection from Laura Beringer. Lauren Beringer at Marcus. Mm -hmm. And it, we've already sold kits and we haven't, we, we were selling them before we even got packaged. Yes. So this one I think is gonna be just a real hit. Um, and it, I don't know if the image, no, I was gonna say that sometimes the image doesn't catch up to what is in the, did it catch oh, did, it? maybe it didn't, hold on, we'll see. 
Yo, yep, it is. is. It is. Okay. Yep. So um, this is the new fresh cut um, I'm get quilt up kit. Oh, yeah. You get up close. It. And then what I'm going to do while you're showing it is I'm going to, again, scroll Stand through through. through the individual pieces that are in this collection and um, so that you can see um, the different pieces that are in there. And in this case, um, the larger yardages are in it. They'll be together if you get the package taped together. But they're in here, so um, it's you can see there's this nice little small print. And in between there is a, gosh, is that, what do you call it, a blue or a tealish blue I color? would call it a teal, but yeah. yes. And then your background fabric. Uh, the pattern is included with this, but it's also a free pattern. It is a free pattern. So we have we got get, it on the website yet? I, I don't even know. I can't remember if we have it on the website or not. Um, but we will have it on the website if we don't. So again, a beautiful collection. And Heidi, do you know off the top of your head what size quilt this makes? 83 by 83. I actually do know oh, that one. Good job. I, thank you. Thank You're thank you. welcome. Yeah, it happened. It was, I'm pretty sure it was 83 by 83. Yeah. yeah. And so it is, it, there, well, when it, it's called Fresh back. Cut. And, and... There is something very, very fresh about it, um, it in that it's just... Um, oh, she said it's 80 in Florida, which is why they moved from Wisconsin. Huh. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, good reason, yeah. too. Okay. Yeah, good reason. But we're glad you're with us this morning, Donna. Yeah. So that is awesome. So we're going to move on I see a lot of people asking the quote behind us. We have two behind us. One, we talked about birthday present. The other one is Zoe, which somebody did recognize. This is one that we featured... Um, that we are going to be making when we got the songbook collection, which love the songbook collection. Um, if you haven't seen it before, the coloring of it is so cool. It's in the quilt there. But what I personally love is the script. Oh, on it because it it's, is. it's can, um, we, can we grab can that grab piece? It? Yeah. And the script is the background in here. And I, can, I got the navy one that I can show, but if you can, yeah, grab that one. So this no. script of, um, it's, phrases or titles of um music mm -hmm. so praise god from whom all blessings flow amazing grace how great thou art be my be thou my vision but the coloring of it i i find it to be unique and intriguing there's yep. a new word intriguing oh yeah and i actually just hit the panel in shinta because oh, it's sold the out panel is so sold out. and and are we do we have any of the small one left or is it sold out now too oh i don't know i might I believe be... it is i believe it is so the zoe fabric kit does not include the panel but you can see it behind us and how the colors all play together so nicely but the background is the light that you're seeing is this it might be hard to see on the wall behind us that is found in the stripology three stripology three mixology stripology mixology three book um, which has some other really neat patterns in it as well we were inspired by the Zoe on this one. If you haven't seen how she does her cutting methods and the spe special ruler of it, um, we love it. The stripology ruler, you're going to hear more about that tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, because tomorrow um, is, we'll talk a little bit more yeah. about, uh, but tomorrow will be our video, our next video in the series for our Sunday Best Sew Along. And I do want to show you one thing with the Zoe quilt. And a lot of the stripology quilts have multiple layout options. And she has it kind of in a three-tone, but there's the layout option that we did, and I hope you can see it if I'm centering it on. And then here's some additional layout options from the same block. So you could literally create all these different views, so to speak, with one sewing method, just how you place them. So I love that about that pattern um, that it gives. And again, that's in the stripology, mixology three book. Um, Yes, from and I, GE Designs. And I just got through all of the different colors of the text okay. um, because there are several pieces um, that do go into that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I love it. You know, like the blessings flow. I love the names of them yeah. as we. Um, is she still going through it? I, it's, it's a big fabric. collection. It's it a is. very big collection. Um, and we still have, we have most of them. Some, I know there's yeah, a couple that yeah, are gone. But, um, gone, but uh, it also is a collection that plays well with others. Oh, it is because we actually have added. We have we've added a couple here, other. Yeah, it's right in front. Yeah. But we've added. Uh, what is this? This Homestead. is called Homestead from yeah. Homebody. Homebody from AGF, and um, there's a couple other pieces that feel like it belongs together. Mm -hmm. And so, um, again, so if you uh, if you really like the kit, so um, in the Zoe kit is 
most of the pieces except very little neutral because the only neutral we used was the background. Was the background. So then we created a fat quarter bundle from the other neutrals. And, and I think I just put that up. Maybe not. Now I'll put it back up. There we go. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it's not funny. There it comes. There it goes. Just hitting something wrong. So there is the neutral bundle, um, which is just beautiful and could, again, oh my gosh, it could go oh, any different direction. And again, why we didn't choose to use it, which you can imagine just because of the, we it wouldn't stand out on the quilt using the background of it. And yes, we, we, do, we do really like that quilt too. Um, and I'm I, sorry, I accidentally hit the panels and they are gone. So yeah, uh, do not, I'll when you, if you were to try to one. click on those, they'll take you to nothing. So I'm sorry. <laughs> take you to nothing. Um, yeah. the other so I think thing, I've gone through them. Well, and the other thing is to, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, same thing with this one. So this one is fat quarters, again, in here that we put in. So this is 24 fat quarters, which again is an, more than enough. Well, so like, you say can, you, you like have birthday some, presents. I say more than enough, but you have some abilities to go heavier on Correct. the navy blue. So say you like birthday presents, yeah. but you like Zoe. Yeah. Then this ha that, that quilt used 20 fat quarters. Yep. You now have 24. So you either have a little bit of room to play, or you or have a couple bigger, of extra, or you, or you can, can make it bigger. Yardage for the background and make Correct. more birthday or you can add presents. a border to yeah. it. And yep. so you have the ability to go back and forth. So we're trying harder to put more of what's in the kit and the measurements. Um, there are some kits like Fresh Cut that has... It's very specific it, to it's that. It's very, kit. very specific mm -hmm. to that quilt kit. So not that you couldn't use it for something else, but yet it's not like it's all fat quarters and or the, anything like that. The one thing, too, I would say that is maybe a little bit unique about Hen and Chick Studio. I guess maybe not unique, but just so that you know, this kit that we did, is we came up with this ourselves. So we looked at the fabric collection. We're like, what can we do with this? And we tested, tested, auditioned some other fabrics to see what we felt like it fit and, into. And, it, and people might say, well, what do you mean you that we come up with them? So, um, for example, and I don't know, can't probably I easily, but, um, as I was gonna say, I was wondering if I could just- Here, I'll go. You wanna rotate? Yep. So just to give you an example, and I don't even have the, I don't have the barcode or anything for it, but just to give you an example, Fluorescence Aurora came from the manufacturer that way. They, they selected the fabric. They selected the pattern. We thought it was awesome, um, which we, we did think, you know, we, we love it. It's different. Um, that came from the, from the manufacturer that way. So that's awesome. We love to yeah. be able to use that. Um, it gives us a little break on our brain power sometimes, yeah. right? But so then when you look at the one underneath it, Playhouse Pals. Correct. Then that, we, that is one that we took the collection, we took the pattern, and we put it together. Well, all of these and are. all of these. Uh, Homestead, Shadow Song, we took the collection, found the pattern. Zoe, uh, this one, the one up here was inspired by, it's not It's not exact, but it was close to um, Scrap Lunch uh, while, or Scrap School. While and, at lunch, yeah. Yeah, and so, yep. you know, that, it's, it's one of those things. But that is something that we try really hard, is to create kits that you won't find anywhere else. Um, so that you know that you're always getting something unique and different mm -hmm. here at Hidden Chick Studio. So that is is something. Okay. So all right. So um, I, just I picked it. So sorry. No, everybody. you're good. I think you're. I think you're good. All right. So let's talk about farm babies, should we? Okay. Let's do. Because they're so dang so cute. cute. They're okay. so cute. All right. So which one do you want to show first? The kit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, this is farm babies using slideshow. And what I love about this, look at those cute animals, um, are that the panel in this particular one. And I'll one, go grab a panel to show it. Okay. The, the, and I'm going through the fabrics again so that you can get an idea of what the individual fabrics look like. But the idea is that the panel um, is a smaller, in this particular one, it's got smaller squares. And so let's see if I can actually find it. It's this, this one. This is the panel, I think. We'll find out if you click the right one. There we go, I think it good. All right, so yes. we're cutting those up and putting them inside the slideshow. Oh yeah, so you can see. oh, because they're just Even so though you cute. see the picture of it, you get the scale of it better looking at it this way. So yeah. each one of these, 
Well, literally, you couldn't have to use each one of these. You no, use you can each use each one of these, or you could just use. If you just wanted the pig, you could just use the pig. But it adds opportunity to uh, be Become very creative in the slideshow. In here, okay. And so we made it, and again, we made it for um, the baby. So fifty-four by sixty-six. That includes nine fat quarters binding. Um, and at border and background in this particular yep. kit plus the panel. Correct, correct. And um, we do not have a store sample of this yet. Again, this kit's flying out the door, so um, we don't have a. a we're finished, trying not but... to make a store sample so that you have the opportunity to have it. So that... that's right. So we can because we're selling them. Yeah. So um, definitely so get cute. yours if you want. Um, yeah. But the pig, I mean, show we'll that this, again. Yes, show that one again. Because the pig with the chick on it is the, absolutely my favorite. I think he's my favorite. And so well, that is pigs considered. Are awful kind of cute in here. Well, I mean, yes, they, really they are, are all cute. Okay. So and um, there is another panel available that is not, we don't have this particular one put into a kit, but correct. it gives you the opportunity. Uh, again, so you can create your own. So it's a traditional 24-inch panel. Mm -hmm. and, and to you give you. I already showed it. But yep, it I'll, pull, us... I'll pull it back up. And so it has the square in the middle and then two, four blocks, yep. two on top. Let's turn it, it around. Show the, the scale. There's, the, there's the chick on top of the pig there. And, of course, you could leave it as is or you could cut it apart and create your own quilt Correct. from there. Correct. So lots of um, opportunity there. Again, the slideshow pattern, great pattern. We've done it in multiple different ways. We have another one right now called Feathered Friends, Feathered Friends by Sue Zipkin. And in a slideshow, we do have a sample of that. Um, anyway, it's, it's a great pattern. We've used it several times. So uh, yeah. even the pattern itself, you don't have to have a panel yep. to do it. We yep. chose to cut down a yep. panel and put it in there. Well, you put, you, here, you can set that aside and, we'll, okay. and hold this. It's all right. I get to hold it? Yeah, you can well, hold it. thank you. Yes, you can hold it because it's beautiful. And we even have a three-yard bundle um, of this particular fabric because, again, so cute. And you know we love the three-yard um, books. books. And so I'm going to transition into to the that. Three -yard books. And one thing I want to say, too, is think. Uh, don't always think the way um, that we're thinking or traditionally, right? Because you have three yards here. That doesn't mean you have to make a three-yard quilt. As much as we love the three-yard quilts. It's it 12 fat quarters. It doesn't mean that's it's, what you have to do. Or it's um, it's a different pattern. Or it's an apron. Or a pillow like pillow cases. Three, get three pillowcases out of this i mean yep. there's different yep, because you literally could use mm -hmm. three fourths of the yard for the base of the pillow one fourth for the band and so basically you just mix and match and you'd have three pillowcases in that and so i'm gonna we have uh, several three yard books like we love way, those yep you it. go over there and we have lots of three yard bundles that we um, like to um, inspire you with. And again, remember, they don't all have to be um, turned into books. And one of the things- Turned into quilts. Oh, turned into quilts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or books, um, but one thing I do wanna say, as I see people, and I love it, that obviously you're finding things that you want. Can you, should I get that out of the way? I'll slide it. Slide it out of the way. Um, you're finding things that you want and putting sold and the number into the, um, the comments. That's awesome. Want to make sure you understand that you do have to complete all the way through the order process in order to make it yours. Just typing the word sold doesn't, doesn't finalize it. And so if there's something that you're liking, we love it. If you're on Facebook, it'll add, um, it'll send you a messenger mm -hmm. message and then you add it to the cart and then you go through the cart. If you are seeing things and you end up placing more than one order today, just put something in the note fields like add to my previous order and we'll remove um, one of the shipping yep. and make sure that um, you only get charged $8.50 one time. Yeah, and so okay. I want to show you a couple of them and I don't I don't know what Heidi's going to I'm going to show the up. books. You're going to show the I'm books. I'm showing right the books now. at the moment. Okay, so we have lots of books. I'm not going to go through all the books, but the neat things about these books is uh, you can turn it around to the back and it shows all of the different patterns for the three yard included in that particular book mm -hmm. if that makes sense and there are several options for me. i'm going to save one to talk about in a second but i'm also going to talk a little bit about the three yard bundles again um heidi did we are we going to scan through all of them or i'll not? scan through what i have yes. okay then I'll hold so like the, for that. instance here's a this one is barbecue so as you're mm -hmm. starting to think ahead to summer or oh, dreaming of summer when it's snowing outside Again, it could be pillowcases. It could be an apron. Here's a simple apron. Oh, yeah. for it. Could be for a man, yeah. for a woman. Um, mm -hmm. So anybody who loves. And so I'll try to find the one as you say it. 
So you can put whichever okay. one you want. I'll try. It's going to be like yeah. a 50 See if she can pickup. find it. I'm gonna, like, and, go and fish. she may or may go. not find it. Um, but this one, we love this one. Again, the neutral palette of it, but my personal thought on this one is as I'm getting ready for graduation because the words on these are positive words. Be yourself, happy, wear a smile. Um, again, you don't always have to have a light, medium, and dark to make an effective quilt. That's you correct. You can have, this is kind of, it's, and it I don't does seem to have, have that one. So that, effect. if you type yep. it in, QK2311. Mm-hmm. And you can use anything, and we won't must go have through missed all a of them. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I'll just click through what I yeah, do you have. Click with. And this again, as you're looking to graduation or um, a sports team with the, these colors, this one happens to be batiks. You can use batiks and cottons together. You can mix and match. This one is QK two three zero nine. We may not have it to scan through, but I'm not yeah. going to go through all of them anyway. It's just giving you some ideas of the. We try to have some fun collections. Different seasons. It's a them. way to, um, like I see the Halloween one, oh, yeah, the, the Christmas. One. You know, um, if somebody also it just snooze you lose because somebody did buy the one that I wanted, and now we no longer have it. So, oh, this was a fun one. I know you probably don't have this. Yeah, one. I don't. For some reason, I don't have all of those. Okay, but that's look okay. Look at this. Is that not the cute? How With the fun faces. is that? Could be a bag. Oh, yeah. Like, I even think oh, about... Oh, yeah, that'd um, be a super fun little thing. Yeah, and all the different makeup bags that we've been seeing uh -huh. and stuff. You know, I love to have bags to organize my... Um, you do. I do. Yeah. I love to have bags. So this one is QK2307. Now, as I'm saying that, um, that is if you're on our website. If you type that number in, and you'll just have to jot it now now because we don't have it. Uh, it will pull this one up, but I, this one makes me smile. And we okay, may have, no, we may have pulled it off because um, it was holiday, but uh, Stacy's. Oh, that's uh, right here. Oh, yeah, fine. oh good. I pull, put it up there. So if you, um, you know, happen to be a regular here, you know, and Stacy is, is not only a customer, but a staff member, um, you might get a bundle named after you. Yeah, it's, it is literally and, called Stacy's. Yep, because that is um, Stacy's collection. She yep. loves that with the mittens, and today we still need our mittens. Darn and it! And snow and purple. And so she loves both of those. She's things. probably happy today that it's snowing. And oh, she probably, snow is. she yes. probably is. She probably is. She probably is. In the middle of summer, she wants. Well, but what I really, really, really want to talk about today is what we're doing with the border print in these three yes. bundles. Okay. Yes. So we have two of them. I'm going to slide this back. A little yep, bit you so go we for can it. Start talking better. Yes. Okay. Last week, if you were with us, was it last week? Yeah, it was, because today's, just, well, I was going to say today's Tuesday, but no, it's Wednesday. <laughs> okay, well, I think yes, it was last week. It we, was last week. We had uh, showed the because new we should, we, Jason Yenter We un right? unboxed the Jason Yenter, yes. that new collection that yes. is called um, Prism, and, mm -hmm. um, and that got us to thinking, because it has a border fabric. Um, and so there's different beautiful... ways to use things yes. so that how our minds are. So then we pulled thinking. out all of his collections yeah, and, and we they're all actually, together. Yeah, they're right all there, together right. over but there. We have this one called Groovy Garden. Oops, I, I yep. grabbed the purple one. It's over there. Um, which is one of his previous collections, but it has. Where's it at? Over this the... border stripe right there on the counter. Oh, with the it. fat quarters. And I want to show you what I mean by a border stripe, just in case you don't know, because Heidi, sometimes we take for granted that people understand what we're talking about. And they may not fully understand what we're doing. That is correct. So I've put both of them up there. So now, so we're calling them four yard bundles. So now you're getting four one yard cuts because um, there is there is um, more to play with here. Okay. Okay. So the border stripe, can you see it, Heidi? Yep. Yep. You're good. So that's repeated four times the stripe is. Yep. So there alone that adds options. Okay. You can use for border. Um, and then you still have your other three one yard cuts if you wanted to be totally so, traditional. So if you said, you know what, I, I for whatever reason, I don't want to use, here, let's don't want to use the stripe um, in the way that they're thinking, you can use the three, right. sorry. Yeah, you can, you use can the mix three. and match a little bit. Right, on you this. can do whatever you want. So you could say, I'm going to do an easy stripe table runner oh, yeah. with the stripe. Yep. And I am not going to do, um, although you really need a yard and a half to make that easier, but that's a whole, you know, yeah. you, you'd have you to can, piece. You have yeah. to do a little bit of. Yep. Cr cr creativeness but that's good so what we thought okay let's lay this down yep let's see if we can talk through this how fun this is just one option we came yep. up with so you're in the magic of I'm in right the magic this is okay of. so this is another three yard book called the magic of three yard quilts and it, you're gonna have to think and use your imagination so we measured this and this was eight and a half inches okay and so let me let me, let me let me just sort of i'm gonna pretend okay. i'm She's gonna to try to fold it. 
So the blocks in these books are typically around eight and a half inches for the focal point or piece. So again, on this one, yeah, not so, quite, but, but you get you the start gist. to see what you so, can cut it down and use it as a focal block. So on this particular pattern, I could use it in that pink, like so become that. But I wouldn't use, well, I guess I, pro I probably wouldn't use it around the, the secondary pink. I'd use one of the other yardages. But you could cut that down and see how it would yep. turn out. It would be fascinating to do it that yeah, way. Yeah, you could cut it down. You could make it the whole block. Or you, could... you can use it again. And if you didn't want to do it that way, you could put the focal. And I spoke misspoke on that. Put it in the floral piece. You could use borders. So you can mix and match your colors. Our favorite one out of this one, our favorite idea, though. Find well, it happens to be. And once again, we need more words because everything yes. is our favorite. That is true. That is true. Okay, one that we are really in love in, in love with, enthralled, enthralled with. Enthralled oh, there you go. Oh, with. there you go. There's a new word. Putting together is this one. So where that big orange is could be your cut down block, like yep. Heidi just showed you. So think of the coloring that color pops that you're yep. going to get with and, that. And I think too, like you could do interesting and say my block is not that black and white. Uh -huh. and have down here and i will um i'll be right back yep. oh yep yeah she's gonna go grab the door but i hope you can start to see by this four yard bundle the options that we're opening up on um having some different besides just using it as a border stripe around the outside edge that there's more options that you could do um, of course you could use it if you have a quilt that you want to border stripe it or anything but cutting that down into a block how awesome would that be you like the idea, anyone? Yeah, so it is, um, it is, I'm looking at the comments there. Um, it, um, you're gonna see my name popping up giving comments. I'm not in two places at one time. Somebody just jumped on my computer back there and Leslie put a comment on there. So thank you, Leslie, for doing that. Um, so that's just another idea. And so we created the four yard bundles to give you some options and some more fun to play with. Yes. Oh, absolutely. There are so many different things um, that you can do with that. Mm -hmm. And I think the new four yard bundles, I, I think it'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you like, did you talk at all about binding? Because no, of the, I okay. did not so one of the things that, um, I'm going to say is, uh, a discussion point right. with the three yard quilt books right. is that. The, she really does make it so that you can do the binding with the three yards. But be, to do it, she has to use a smaller width of a binding mm -hmm. strip and make it single fold rather mm -hmm. than double fold. And there are mm -hmm. definitely people who prefer not to do it that way. And so some people will buy an extra quarter of a yard, uh, extra half yard kind of thing. So that's another whole option with the four yard bundle that you already have some is that then you have some extra play mm -hmm. right. in that right. and that you do not have to worry about um, having, you know, not having enough. Right, right. And so we'd love some feedback. Do you like the idea of four yard bundles so that you have yeah, a little bit more? Yeah. Because absolutely. I don't, don't know. I think we could come up with a few more. Oh, we, I'm, I, I'm positive we could. Yes. Um, but also when I'm thinking about it, just because it says three yards, you can still use different fabrics, not just three solid yards. You could mix a half yard with a half yard and Correct. some different things like that. But Correct. Opens up options. Absolutely, it options, does. Right? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely, it's okay. all good. So okay. So then the um, we have got we're going through the list here. We have <laughs> we're doing we're doing good. We We've made covered, a list for ourselves. We, yes, today. because we have so much. Okay, so um, let's talk about. And don't forget my joke. We are not going to forget your joke. Okay, so one of the things that we want to make sure that you know is that we have a retreat center upstairs and that you have the ability to come for private retreats and or public retreats, okay? And which are you going to do? What? Or, I'm going to go this way just a little bit so you don't have to. Oh, very good. So you, that you have the ability to come and work on your projects because I think that is probably one of the things that most of us probably always wish we had more of and that is time and sometimes it's not about necessarily because we can't get more time in a day <laughs> but rather that we dedicate time mm -hmm. to getting a project done oh i like that idea yeah and sometimes it's really hard yes it is it's really hard at home to dedicate the time because oh the dishes need to be done oh oh i see that pile of stuff that needs to be put or away I need to finish cleaning this out or yeah right mm -hmm. where when you come 
to a retreat center, like or there are retreat center here, and we lovingly call it the nest, <laughs> then you are dedicating time. You're not distracted by all of these other oh, things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's You're giving yourself a gift. You really? Are. Oh, absolutely. A gift of 365 time. days a year. We rent the retreat center. Yeah. Um, it, it, we, there's no, so Monday through, it's not a weekend only kind of thing. Um, uh, when we have a private retreat, it is truly a private retreat. We do not add people to, to so your So Heidi retreat. and I wanted to retreat. And it's private. And it's private. It's just Heidi and I. Yep. That's it. Nobody yep. else. And if we said, oh, but we want to uh, have, make it public and invite friends. Then, then we it, can. Then we can. And we can make it public and you can open it up. And then if uh, a complete stranger walks through the door and is part of our retreat, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you could have, if you not could, quite, you, just complete stranger. You can but, choose how you want it. That's how we want to say. We will never add to your party. Pu- yes, right. So we host public retreats because... And I've heard this before, and I heard it yesterday, actually, that some people don't have friends that quilt, which makes me sad because everybody should quilt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody should quilt. Yes. But there are different times of people's lives when, when they come into quilting. Mm-hmm. And so, again, back to the community thing. And let's go backwards one, one thing, too, because we just had a group of ladies come a couple weekends ago that none of them were quilters. They just wanted time together. Correct. So it, you don't have to quilt to use it either. That's Just, that's that obviously. That's right. That's we do a ton of scrapbooking. Yep. That's why even though we do not carry scrapbooking product in the store, um, it, we still have scrapbooking on the window and scrapbook. Can we talk about there's scrapbooking? Tools upstairs for it. Yes, because we have a ton of scrapbookers that come as part of our retreat center. And so that's still very important. So our next public retreat, and we call it Rule the Roost, um, it is going to be Tuesday, April 4th, um, and then the 5th and the 6th, if I can get them all on there. All right. Yep. And there's the 6th. And so what does it mean when it is rule the roost? Well, first of all, um, we have decided in 2023 that, you know, after this many years, we should be retreating <laughs> with people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so um, uh, I took care of the January retreat. Jamie is going to rule the roost. Uh, on the April okay. retreat. Mm-hmm. And um, so what you're paying for, um, e- of course, each day, there's a fee. Um, the fee is higher on what we're referring to as the main day, only because it has food. Yeah. Right? We're and providing the we're lunch. Provi- we're providing the lunch. The other two days, there's no food provided. Right. And so you can bring a snack. You can bring your own lunch. You can go to Casey's. You can go, I mean, wherever you, whatever you need to do mm-hmm. um, to yep. get uh, your food. Now, Heidi, one thing I do want to mention, though, is this, or ask, I guess, should they pre-register for this? And is it limited? um, Yes and yes. So, yes, you must pre-register because we do have limited space. And so, and and also because of the food, uh, we Mm -hmm. do use an outside caterer. So, we do have to. Now, in April, we shouldn't have weather issues, but if there's weather issues, don't worry. We well, take yeah. care of our mm-hmm. customers if yeah. weather becomes yeah. an issue. But um, uh, yes, you must pre-register because yes, there is limited. So um, those three dates are now on um, uh, the um, on the on the calendar. Uh-huh. They're in the, there. They're there. And Cindy is asking us, do we have scrapbooking equipment in the nest? And yes, we do. We have a Sizzix die cut system. And mm-hmm. it has a large number of die <laughs> cuts. Um, I have I have three different Mach- sizes machines. of machines mm-hmm. um, so that they can. Uh, and you, uh, we also have some of the um, fo- they're called folders, um, yeah, embossing you, and yeah. uh, what embossing? Maybe the word is embossing. Yeah. So like, if you put a piece of paper in yeah, to the to the folder, then it comes out looking like there's circles embossed yeah, on it yeah. or, you know, shapes yeah. or whatever. And so we have that. Yeah. Um, there is a Cricut um, up there. I will tell you that I am not well versed in the Cricut. So somebody has to be um, capable of understanding that there's no cartridges with it. It's a, um, You'd have to bring your computer. Yes. Oh, well, it can be used without a computer. That one can be or used without. Cartridges. Yes. Yeah. You have to bring your cartridges and there stuff. But anyway, if it helps not have to carry mm-hmm. something Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, those things are, are definitely available. Yeah. So, uh, we'd love to have you register for Rural the Roost. I'd love to have, um, a house full up there. Cause I think we're going to come up with some fun things to do. Last time you did a little, little thing, do 
did a little little doo doo doo. Yes, I g- gave a little something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gave a little something Couldn't to him. Not hard for me, so now I gotta figure no, out. What to no, no. And, and you know, but the idea is that we love to be around and our just customers have fun. and, and yeah, and, and have fun. Having one of us up there also gives you the opportunity to ask questions, and if you need help with something. Yep. Um, it's just, it's a fun time. So yep. consider that as a yep. something that you might want to do. So that is Rule the Roost. Again, any questions about that, don't ever hesitate to um, ask us um, because that is, um, that's what we're here for. Is to help Absolutely. you. Help you. Um, okay. So at the moment, I think we want to talk about uh, our Sunday best sew along. Right. And earlier, if you're watching, at the very beginning, if you got on, you noticed uh, we mentioned Minerva, who is the... Um, queen right now of finishing yes. projects um already has her sew along project completed so how does this work heidi if somebody hasn't started can they start or yep. do they have to start and is there a cost to it yeah so um uh yes you can start now if you haven't already started because the deadline is april 13th i wrote it down so i wouldn't forget the deadline for uploading your top a picture of your top to be eligible for prizes is April 13th. So you can start on April 12th if you think you can <laughs> you possibly get it yeah. done. But um, yeah. they're, they're, the only cost associated with this is the fact that if you actually want to make the day flower pattern, it is in the book Sunday Best Quilts. And we know several people already had this book Right, too, and that's one we of the reasons why. Yes. Yeah. And it is a book that is going out of print. Um, we love this book, and we, I'll show, we'll show mm-hmm. you the quilts that we've been making out of this. Um, I think it is the kind of book that it has v- value well beyond the day flower pattern. So if this is something that you think you would like, then you will want to get the Sunday Best um, yeah. uh, book, that Sunday Best Quilts book. Okay, so we chose the day flower, and just to show you, um, this is the first quilt we made from day flower, and that is this kit right here, and. Um, it looks more like what the quilt is on the cover of the book. Then the second quilt we made from there is Pier 44. Again, to sort of uh, uh, tipped, we, we know our colors are much like similar, what's, to, what's similar to what's in the book. And that is Pier 44. And it this is, one is the pineapple. Right? That is more of a pineapple quilt. And if you're going to do that, we strongly recommend, and I don't have it on this sheet, um, the, uh, pineapple. the pineapple trim tool, Creative Grids pineapple trim tool, which we do have. Um, then we made house and home um, because again this is a third if you're not getting this is uh, called sweet confetti is the pattern Mm -hmm. when we see a book that has value we're also trying to package kits so that if you really like that book and like those patterns that you can get more than one thing out of that because uh, we've talked about the value of a book sometimes really when you break it down for the number of patterns in a book this would be a case that I would highly vouch for the pattern quality in the book yes being a giving you a high quality value correct absolutely so absolutely so then we decided another variation of this um, particular day flower pattern was necessary and that is the marlis uh, i'm going to call it blue and gold um, mm-hmm. fabric collection and we are actually cutting and piecing that as part mm-hmm. of our sew along um, time Goldie and Virginia might be helping a little bit too, yeah. Um, because well, and it's going to be a totally different, totally, totally different, different look. look. Yeah, very different look. And so, of course, we're also as we start talking about the Sunday Best Quilts book in our sew along, talking a lot about the Creative Grids Stripology rulers because we do think it's a tool um, that is very helpful, and I love it. Like Marla has already sent a question. Um, uh, a yep. question she has about how she's cutting and what's happening and we're you know we're trying to help her but it's something we'll talk about um, tomorrow and they're cutting as well mm-hmm. so if you have questions about your stripology ruler and want to send me an email go for it Heidi at Heidi and we'll be glad to try to answer as many questions as we possibly can during our cutting video tomorrow right um, and so if you want to join us you certainly can it's not too late but if you aren't interested in making this particular quilt, you can still watch and pick up tips and tricks that may help you in a future project that you That's make. correct. And, okay, and so uh, do you have to buy the kit in to order the, to participate? Yeah. No, no. You know, this is a great example of we want you to feel good about using the fabrics that you have 
as much as we want you to buy new things, right? right? Because yep. it's more exciting to buy new things if you've gotten something used up. Yeah. I think that's that's a legitimate uh, thing that we all feel. And so, mm-hmm. like, I love that Minerva, and Minerva, you're really getting picked on today. <laughs> she had a jelly roll. Is that what she started and with? And so it helped her speed up the process of the cutting because she already had the two and a half inch wide strips and she had the jelly rolls already on hand now and i will say now just because heidi's saying about jelly roll that it sped it up i might say a little differently when you're using the xl ruler correct and it can be and we're gonna and we can have what we're gonna talk about so make that's sure right. That you're staying tuned for right. that. But that we're that's there's no rules of that you have yes. to buy the fabric here or, or anything like that. Yeah. And the other thing to keep in mind, but and this is um, if you just want to use scraps, it's two and seven eighths. So basically, I'm just going to say three yards is what you would get if you needed the the d- dark part. This oh, one. This one. I don't know which which quilt. What we're we're t- this is what we're t- calling the background or the the dark. connecting pieces. What, yeah, the corner triangles. Whatever you want to call. So the corner triangles, and I'll actually bring that one back up yeah. again so you can see. But that gray is what we use. So if you had three yards of a neutral, and, and then you just started scraps, picking scraps, like two and a half inch strips. Oh yeah. To make your own. Oh yeah, because you need like six and a half, ten need, and a half, like fourteen. You need a two and a half, and then two. Yeah. Yeah. Two, six and a half, or four, six yeah, so and a half for each block. Right. So that way, that, that yeah. way you can um, make sure that you've got everything and use up scraps. And yeah. so the pattern, uh, I'll just make that simple for you to help m- measure and all that. And it's a great expandable pattern as well. Yes. So you do have to make it, if you make it and want to be eligible for prizes, you do have to make the 20 blocks. Um, and then on the website at Sunday Best Sew Along, um, there is a, will be a link, uh, currently there's some verbiage there, but there will eventually be a link where you can upload that photo so that we capture your name and the photo, we'll put all the photos on there, and then we'll have some awards on April 18th. Mm-hmm. So that's how this goes, yep. okay? So that is awesome. Uh, let's see, and just making sure, um, God, anything else that we haven't covered this morning? Well, I'm sure there is, but are you ready for my joke? Oh, I'm okay. I'm ready. Okay, it, okay. I'm gonna go the whole thing because it could seem a little. It's kind of a dad joke, but okay. So there's a husband and wife. They're in bed, and the husband is, you know, starts rubbing his, his wife's head and down her shoulder and her leg, and then stops when he gets to her hand, and the wife says, "Well, why'd you stop?" And the husband said, "Because I found the remote control." Ah! Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, I love it. Yeah, no, no, good joke. I I know you you might have been a little concerned, but I I was like, where is she going with this? But that's all right. I knew it had to be uh, okay. It was was, was okay eventually. I should have given that. But yeah, I mean, how true is that? But anyway, that's a whole different topic. But yes. Oh, yes. We hope that we brought you a a laughter. Nobody's bored today. Yeah, Yeah, nobody's bored today. They stayed tuned that long. They got to do things with each other friends. That is absolutely right. Well, we certainly (laughs) hope that today we've given you some inspiration, some information. Some uh, useless motivation, jokes. some useless facts, uh, all sorts of things. Um, but we certainly love having you with us. We love um, being able to help you be creative. And we yep. hope that you will continue to join us, whether that's online or in person. And until the next time, be, be creative. creative.